Hello YouTube, I have another what unboxing for you today. Um, <clears throat> if you see my, if you saw my last video, my state of the collection video, a few things have changed since I did that video. Uh, please bear in mind that video was uploaded a bit late. But as soon as I managed to sort of fill my 12 slot watch box, I decided 12 was too many. I will get rid of the collection, sell it all off, um, and try and maybe get a handful of pieces uh, and stick with them. So the initial 12, I've sold most of it. I still have three left and I intend to sell them. Um, and my sort of new collection will consist of two pieces. This is the first one. The second one is on order and I should get it within a couple of weeks. Of course, and of course I will do an unboxing video when that lands as well. Uh, I am not including my trusty uh, Casio DBE30 in my collection. It's I'll still wear it for sort of around the house. Um, I've had this since 2003 and it served me so well. Absolutely fantastic. It just It just looks... It doesn't have that sort of appeal if you, um, in terms of looks or brand name or the build quality or anything like that. But it's practical, it's rugged enough, it has obviously been with me for over a decade and it's held up reasonably well. So that's not going anywhere. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. So I purchased the watch from uh, CW Sellers or Dura Watches and uh, this is the outer packaging um, of uh, CW Sellers. The box is huge. I'll just I'll move this to one side because the box is too big so I can't get it in my shot in my frame so let me just take the box out
There's the watch. <coughs> watch box. So there was nothing else inside the box, plenty of uh, padding, bubble wrap, uh, obviously the, my, my receipt and I also got a, um, a watch bracelet adjusting tool which I will need to use. They give you the option of getting it sized um, at the store, oh, sorry. Um, Getting it sized online, so when you put the order, they ask you for your wrist size and they can get it sized. But I obviously didn't want them to open the packaging, so I requested as a free, they give you as a free gift, the actual tool so I can undertake the resizing myself. I'll put that to one side, so we have the uh, packaging here, Satina watches which are, they are part of the Swatch Group so under Hamilton and many other makes so sorry the Swatch Group owns Hamilton and um, quite a few other companies and Sutina is one of them there you go <coughs> There's a picture of uh, of the watch. Um, this is their uh, manual. That's just a, this is another presentation box. If you open it up, you see the actual watch box. Let me just take the manual out. So they seem to have a theme with the um, the green line and obviously the logo, Satina's logo is the, uh, the turtle shell or the turtle back and again you see it in the manual the whole green green and white sort of theme this is the manual and they have it in many languages that to one side So it's a hard box. Yeah, it's a hard wooden box. You can see the hinges there. Let's open it up. I'll put the watch to one side. So just to show you what else comes in the box. So you get a uh, international two year warranty card. Uh, 
and these guys are the uh, the sellers who I purchases who I used to buy the watch. Piece of silica gel. You have another booklet on international on the international warranty. So just like the manual, you have the international warranty in many languages, hence the thickness. Let's put that back in there. It's a nice box, quite uh, sturdy. That green really pops. Yeah, put that to one side. Just uh, take the watch out, and it comes in a sort of padded cushion, pillow. So that there is the model number and if you look closer this is the the stainless steel version it's water resistant to 100 meters it does have an alarm uh, but it also has a vibration alarm it's quartz and it has a sapphire crystal it says non-reflecting, so it probably mean it has an anti-reflective coating. So as you can see, it is a uh, um, an Anadigi movement. I'll get the exact number for you in a sec on my phone. So this is running an ETA multifunction movement, analog digital quartz, and I think the model num the model number on Satina's website says it is the E49.351 movement. My lighting is not very good, so it looks like you can hardly see the uh, digital display. Uh, but one of the things they wanted to do was make the display as discreet as possible. It's almost like a dot matrix format, but it is fairly legible. It's just that my lighting is makes it look a lot worse than it is. if that fares any better
So there she is. So this is the stainless steel version. They do obviously a few other versions with different strap combination. You also get different dial combinations. I've gone for the all black dial. I wanted a black dial and the reason being, uh, and in fact my second watch that I've ordered, which hopefully you'll get to find out what it is soon, it's gone, I've gone for a black dial as well. And the reason being, because I'm planning to now stick with just two watches, I wanted the flexibility uh, of changing uh, changing the straps uh, and what I found was having just a solid colour, I mean, preferably black it gives you the option to go for a, vi a wide variety of straps, different styles you can go for wild patterns on the straps because the colour of the watch is neutral you can get away with uh, virtually any sorts of any sort of combination design and style and color combination on the straps so I wanted a, a very neutral dial and it looks like a uh, a very nice sort of gloss black it, yeah, it looks ever so slightly the actual dial ever so slightly like wet ink um, but at the same time as well you have these you have this very clean look so it looks kind of like a dress watch and that uh, display, digital display is so discreet but it's legible as well <coughs> so I believe the case is 42mm wide that must be excluding the pushes you have a very sort of polished finish on the side on the top bezel there but on the front the top surface by the lugs it's completely brushed same again on this side you have a signed crown now DS is the, uh, the, the the model range, so this watch is, although I showed you the model number exactly, it's called the DS, oh, let's, let's remember, let's get this right, DS Multi 8, Satina DS Multi 8, uh, that's the model range, that's why you've got DS. The crown, the pushes are polished. And you have different finishing on the bracelet which is stainless steel 22 millimeter wide lugs polished finish around the along the center of the strap brushed on the sides there's your buckle I'm just getting the uh, the cover off. Just uh, put it on my wrist. 
Actually, before I put her on the wrist, let me go show you uh, his back. Still got his protective cover. I believe this little bump here will be for the, uh, for the vibration uh, motor in the watch for the vibration alarm. Let's just put it on the wrist now. I need to get it resized, but that's what it looks on my 7 inch wrist. It's a fairly discreet watch, but um, it ticks all my boxes for work. I need a stopwatch for work. Obviously, I also would like the ability to um, see the wa see the time at night. So this does have a light. What I will do is I'll try to do another video showing some of the features. I'll get the bracelet sized up and then we can go through the features. Thank you.